Hi everyone, Ramesh here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to implement menu to menu mapping using JPA and Hibernate. We basically create a Spring Boot project and implement menu to menu mapping using JPA and Hibernate. Let me show you a real world example for menu to menu mapping. So look at here, this is the blog website and this is the blog post. It contains two tags. And look at here, this, these are the popular tags and each tag internally contains multiple posts. All right, one post can contain multiple tags and one tag can associated with multiple posts. For example, this is the post, it contains two tags and for example, movie is the tag, it is associated with two posts. All right, post one nine, post two. So this is the many to many mapping example and exactly this functionality we are going to implement in this example. Consider two tables here posts and tags and these two tables establish a uh, you know many to many relationship between each other the many to many relationship is implemented by using third table called post underscore tags which contains the details of posts and their associated tags all right let's now create a spring boot projects from scratch and we will learn how to implement many to many relationship between these two tables using jpa and hibernate Let's get started. I'm in Eclipse STS ID. Let's go ahead and let's create Spring Boot project. Go to the file new and then choose Spring Starter project. This is a Spring Initializer website which is integrated in Spring Tool Suit ID to quickly create a Spring Boot project. So here I'm going to give name to the project as Spring Boot Hibernate Many to Many Mapping. All right, and choose type as Maven, packaging as a jar, Java version 8, language Java, and group ID net.java guides. You can specify any group ID that you want, and the artifact ID is our name of the project that is Spring Boot Hibernate Menu to Menu Mapping, and keep version as it is. Description demo project for Spring Boot Hibernate Menu to Menu Mapping. and package as net.javaguides.springboot you can give any package name that you want once you are happy with the details hit next here keep spring boot version as it is so this is the latest release of spring boot version as of now and we are going to use mysql database so let's go and let's pick up mysql driver dependency and we are going to use spring data jpa so Spring Data JPA internally uses by default Hibernate as a JPA provider. So once we use Spring Data JPA starter dependency, this will internally provide all the Hibernate JPA libraries. All right. So these two dependencies are enough to create this example. So I hit finish button. So this will create a Spring Boot project here. All right. As we are using MySQL database, we will need to configure MySQL database URL, username and password. So open the application.properties file and let me quickly configure MySQL database URL, username and password. So look at here, this is the URL for MySQL database. So this is the JDBC URL for MySQL database and this is the name of the database, so username and password and this is the hibernate dialect for mysql database and this is the property which makes sure that a database tables and domain models in our application are in sync whenever you change the domain model hibernate will automatically update the mapped table in a database when you restart the application okay we no need to manually create the tables and maintain the sync up between relational database tables and domain models so this property will make sure that uh, the table details and domain entities are in sync okay and here i also mention the log levels for hibernate so that we can debug the sql queries executed by hibernate all right great so let me switch to the mysql workbench and let me create a database so i am in a mysql workbench i am going to quickly create a statement here create database and name of the database is demo and i'm going to run this statement and i'm going to refresh here let's 
see here the database is created okay now our mysql database setup is ready now let's define our domain models for that i'm going to create a package let's name it as entity so we are going to create two domain models one is post and another is tag one post can have multiple tags and one tag can be associated with multiple posts all right right click on entity package new and then create a class name it as post and create a one more class and name it as a tag okay now let's define a field fields in a post class so let me quickly define instance variables so look at here id title description content posted at last updated at so these are the instance variable in post class now what we'll do we quickly create one more instance variable that is setup tags now let's go ahead and let's quickly create a getter setter method to access these private fields all right then let's also create a parameterized constructor so right click source and then choose generate using constructor i'm going to create a constructor for three fields title description and content and then also create a default constructor or no argument constructor all right and here in a tag define some instance variables like private long id private string name okay what else remaining so we need to define again private setup posts right so this is bi-directional main to main mapping so let's define a post equals new has set all right and then we need to again create a getter setter method to access these private fields and then define a constructor here parameterized constructor right click source and then create only for name and also no argument constructor great now we have created two classes post and tag now let's add a gp annotation to the domain models so this is a post class let's go and let's add an entity annotation here at entity annotation so we use this annotation to make this class as a gp entity class and also let's use add table annotation to provide table details and here i'm going to give a name as post so this is our table name which will map to this domain model and let's define a primary key for this table let's use add id annotation to define a primary key and let's use add generated value annotation to define a primary key generation strategy type dot i'm going to use identity all right and here what we'll do we define a column name for title and let's copy this and also give column name for description and content so change the column names accordingly content content and this is posted at posted underscore at and this is last underscore updated underscore at okay so these are the column names for respective fields now let's add many to many annotation let's use at many to many annotation and let's define a fetch type so we are going to use fetch type as lazy so this will load 
related entities easily from the database and let's define cascade type cascade type all so this will basically update or delete child entities whenever a parent entities get deleted or updated and what we will do we use one more annotation here to define a third table that is at the rate join table okay so as i mentioned earlier we use third table to implement menu to mini mapping so here let's define a table name third table name is post underscore tags okay and once we create a table name here and then we need to create a column names right for that let's use join columns attribute and inside that we need to specify column names right and here i will use annotation called add join column and this has name attribute so let's give a name as post underscore id all right now what we will do so this this is the foreign key from post table now let's get uh, one more foreign key from tag table for that we need to use uh, inverse join columns attribute here and let's again use add join column annotation and let define name equals to tag underscore id so this is the third table it has two columns post underscore id and tag underscore id now we need to also annotate this class with the jp annotations let's quickly add add entity annotation and add table annotation and provide table name here name equal to tags and let's quickly add add id annotation so that we can make this id as a primary key and let's also add generated value annotation here and let's maintain a strategy identity all right and here we need to provide again a menu to menu map uh, annotation right let's use add menu to menu annotation and we need to also fetch the related entities so let's use fetch type as lazy again and let's again use cascade type cascade type all all right and notice here the important thing here is we need to apply mapped by okay mapped by and here we need to get this column this field name tags and just mapped by tags we use many to many annotation to create many to many relationship between two entities in bidirectional mapping the many to many annotation is used on both the entities but only one entity can be a owner of the relationship for example we have used at many to many annotation in post as well as in a tag and post is our owner of the relationship and we have used at table annotation to specify the third table with columns okay and here in a tag so look at here we have used mapped by attribute so this attribute is we actually specify in an inverse side so this is tag is an inverse side right great so notice here post entity is owner of the relationship and tag entity is the inverse side all right i hope you understood menu to menu mapping between post and tag let's define a repositories to access post and tag data from the database so for that i'm going to create a package here and let's name it as a repository let's go ahead and let's create a post repository first and this is the post repository interface and this extends jpa repository 
all right so jpa repository will provide crude database operations for post entity and here provide type as long okay and let's annotate this interface with add repository annotation and let's import this post entity okay so similarly create a tag repository then let's extend this tag repository with jpa repository so this will provide crew database operations for tag entity and specify id as long long type so this is the type of our id that is long okay and let's annotate this interface with add repository so these are the two two repositories for accessing post and tag data from the database it's time to write some code to test our many to many mapping for that what we'll do we'll implement command line runner interface so this will provide a run method and this run method will execute while application is started all right and here we need to uh, auto wire repositories private post repository and let's inject let's inject uh, tag repository as well okay and now let's create a post object post post equal new post so let's give a title as uh, hibernate many to many mapping example with spring boot so this is the title and similarly give description same so i will just break this give description also same and content also same okay so this is the post object and now what we'll do we'll create some tags and we associate tags to this post for that let's create a tag uh, this is spring boot equals new tag and give name to the tag as spring boot let's create a one more tag and this is hibernate equals new tag and give name to the tag like hibernate let's add tag references to the post post dot get get tags dot add add spring boot and one post can contain multiple tags so let's go ahead and let's add one more tag add hibernate okay similarly add post reference to tag so here what we'll do we'll use tag dot get post so tag here is spring boot boot dot and this is spring boot right spring boot dot get post dot add post so one post can associate it with multiple tags so let's go ahead and let's add this post to hibernate tag add post and then use post repository dot save so post is our owner entity so let's use post repository and save post object so we are using cascade all so whenever we save post entity then tags also 
you know tags also get saved in a database now what we will do we will run the program now let's run the spring boot project and let us see how the many to many tables are getting generated now let us run the spring boot project and let us see how our many to many mapping works for that what we will do we right click on the main class and run as spring boot app so look at here the logs so basically three tables are generated tags posts and post underscore tags so this is the third table is generated because we are implementing many to many relationship between post and tag and look at here the insert statements two records are inserted in tags table and one record is inserted in post and post underscore tags table post and tag uh, you know ids are maintained just they are mapping like one post can contain multiple tags and one tag is associated with multiple posts like that so let's verify in mysql workbench so this is the demo database we are using so let's go ahead and let's refresh it and look at here three tables are created and tag table contains two records spring boot and hibernate and post record contains this post and post under underscore tags contains two records so one post can contain multiple tags and one tag can have multiple posts so you can create one more post and you can add only one tag to multiple post so this um, you know many to many mapping will be maintained in this table post underscore tax table all right so let me demonstrate one tag is associated with multiple posts now we have seen that one post can have multiple tags like spring boot and hibernate so let me quickly create one more post let me call it as post one and this is hibernate one to many mapping post all right now what we'll do we will add this post to the tag spring boot dot get posts dot add post one okay now this tag contains two posts one is many to many mapping and another is one to many mapping so we need to also add this tag to the post because it is one many to many bidirectional mapping let's call tags dot add and then spring boot and here what we need to do is we need to save the post one object to the database save post one all right now we can see proper menu to menu mapping in a database so let's go ahead and let's run the pro, uh, application again so look at here the insert statements let's verify in mysql workbench so here I'm going to refresh and three tables are created and in a tags table we can see two tags spring boot and hibernate and in a post table we can see two records many to many and one to many mapping posts and here we need to see one post has two tags all right and tag two has two posts all right now you can see right one post can have multiple tags and one tag can have multiple posts so this is how the menu to menu relationship one post have two tags here one and two and 
tag 2 has two posts post 1 and post 2 so this is how the many to many mapping all right i hope you understood many to many mapping using hibernate with springboard project i hope you found this video tutorial useful subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish such videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video